Thanks. Some temporary fixes are in place tonight to maintain sewer service for hospitals in Coryville. Now, this exclusive video from Chopper 9 shows exactly what happened when a century old line gave way, creating a sinkhole big enough to almost swallow a Metro bus. Nine on your side, reporter Tom McKee is live with new information on when full repairs should be complete. Tom? Well, Clyde, the best guess here on East Shield Street is it's going to take about a month to make those repairs. The cost, well, that's anybody's guess. The pipe that broke is basically 100 years old, and it's 37 feet down below street level in that tube behind me here. It's like many other pipes in the Metropolitan Sewer District system. The break caused quite a smell for area residents and quite a few stirring moments for one veteran Metro driver. If a picture is worth a thousand words, this image of a Metro bus straddling the edge of a sinkhole Thursday night spoke volumes for Metro's Sally Hilvers. We really don't see sinkholes and buses interacting very often. Onboard cameras captured the exact moment the street collapsed and caused the back end of the bus to drop into the sinkhole. We maintain thousands of miles of collection system within our sewer district, and it is very unusual, highly unlikely for something like this to happen. MSD crews quickly rushed in to begin repairs and get the sewage flowing again and to help clear the air. Residents like Sri Sistap watched the scenario unfold. We could sense the smell when we went close to the, uh, to the hole, but not really uh, in the neighborhood I'm in. I live right, uh, right beside this place, this thing, and uh, I don't really smell anything. The clay pipe that broke was installed in 1913 and gradually disintegrated, leaving the sewage to go where it wanted to go. It just starts eating away and eating away and eating away, and eventually just creates a big enough void where everything just falls down. For right now, the break is causing some inconvenience, especially to health care facilities. This area does um, is uh, draining the universe, some of the university hospitals, so we have um, an above-ground uh, pipe network that we've constructed to be able to continue to provide service to this area. Now back live here, these are, this is another look at those pumps that are continuing to work hard to provide that service as was just described. As I said, many of the pipes in the MSD service area are 100 years old and fixes are being made throughout the area. Of course, everybody's noticed the sewer rates going up to help handle the cost. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Coryville.